Hello guys, this is Sunil here and I'm back and in this tutorial we will try to learn what is a message for uh, sorry What is a decision task? So what is a decision task? It's like if or else if means okay If I get up at 10 uh, 10 a.m. in morning, then I will go to I will eat uh, a big breakfast or uh, if I Get up at 12 then I will have lunch directly right so something like that if else statements So let's see what how we can implement if then else here. So how do we do it? The season D E C I S I O N decision or you just called it as flow decision uh, Just drag drop right then what I'll do is just remove uh, this one and I will connect this input to this decision right what we will do we will pass the value first we will ask this user the something right and then we will uh, we will display a message right so it's a very simple thing that uh, what we want to do let's just add one more uh, message box you can name a message box actually right it makes it very simple so you can go here okay so um, true false whatever you like it right so true this one is uh, something like false okay so true and false and what message shall we give we will say like uh, okay we have given percentage string so per percentage is uh, not a string <laughs> it should normally be a number let's just say great then um, I need to give a condition. Can you see one thing? It says enter a VB expression. What exactly? What is a VB? VB means Visual Basic. Okay. So this tool is built on uh, .NET platform, right? So that's the reason why it is, um, uh, and it's based. All the expressions are. Uh, uh, it will be taking Visual Basic, or it will be taking you, what you can say C sharp. So C sharp, Visual Basic are pretty much the same thing. Okay. Visual C plus plus C sharp, with, uh, all the stuff, Visual Basic pretty much the commands and all that most of them are same so you can use that expression right so just go here and um, I will just say um, let's just say grade okay grade is equal to right um, a right so if grade is equal to a then um, uh, then it will go here right so we can just give a message and we can give a message like uh, create not create create is a right and here something like create is b and uh, this one title is uh, second grade you know what I'm doing is I'm doing a mistake. I'm not giving the codes. Okay, you should give the code. So I've given the code, right? I fixed it. This one. So I'll just say first grade. And uh, save it. Uh, one second, little bit of mistake we're doing. Okay, all right. So that's the reason why you always do it here. I've given an extra code done uh, one more mistake we have done I think no it's clean now all right uh, let's just run it um, okay sorry uh, run it and see the logs just see where you can see here it's, uh, it's uh, sorry we have given uh, two uh, equal to right just say this uh, now it's fine just uh, run it Uh, just say a Say okay grade is here, right and uh, If I give uh, B, let's say what happens if I give B so B grade is B uh, Quite simple quite basic. I think um, you, you can easily do this right so um, That's it guys. So this one is very simple uh, and for your information I'll there are a lot of other things. Let's say yeah, I have given grade is equal to a you can also give module operator or minus plus um, um, All different operators, right? So if you want any help on that uh, Where will where can you get help just go to Google and say visual basic commands? Okay, because this tool is based on visual basic, right? So that's it guys. 
so i hope you understood what's a decision task so in the next session uh, we'll um, we'll see with another uh, tutorial thanks guys thank you very much